I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. The Tigers know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Some nice touch on that throw. A screen can be tricky to execute because you're actually allowing the defense to come right at you as a quarterback. And that's what you want. One missed block, and it could easily result in lost yardage. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From the 34-yard line, second down. Complete. He's got room. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Touchdown, Tigers! He tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Bring him down at about the 33 yard line. Tackle made at the 34 yard line. Well, that's a big time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense.
It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on their own 24. Memphis is up seven. He delivers. And he hauls that one in. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Memphis. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Makes it second and two. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. Green, hey, Play check 26, check 26. Pass, pass, pass. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's, That's good, good for a game of five yards. yards. That, that brings him second, second and five. five. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. That's a nice four yards on the back. That'll make it third and eight. It's third and nine. Ball on the 40-yard line. He throws. Complete. Tackle right around the 24-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. Brought down at the 23-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 23-yard line. On the ground, right side. Makes it to the 14. Gonna try and scramble. Who needs help? Who needs help when you got D like this? Kill, kill, kill! Running three. Check 26, check 26. Pressured and brought down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Nice run, and he's brought down. the four-yard line. This should be an easy field goal.
Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Arkansas State gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Tigers are punching it into the end zone when they get the chance, and that's been the difference so far in the ballgame. Yeah, give them all the credit. It's one thing to move the football down the field, but when you get an opportunity to come up with a touchdown, you have to capitalize on it, and they've done that. We've played one. The Tigers in front, 14-3. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes at the 28. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's got an opening. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Over the middle to his tailback. this one away so that'll make it fourth down it's a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen Williams awaits the snap they'll bring him down at the 30 It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Makes it to the 44. That brings in second and nine. He makes his way out to about the 35. So he keeps it and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's scrambling. They bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. From the 40-yard line, second down. Gets out to around the 32. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Well, they try to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. Memphis up Let's by eight. Out, and he's tackled right away. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Scrambling around. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it fourth and four. Bowling is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 27. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to tournament. Throws in a hurry. He's got it! They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Arkansas State's going to take their first time out of the half. From the 21-yard line, second down. Tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 21 yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. No game. That brings up second and goal. Let's go, let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Mike eight. Mike eight. Go, go, kill, go, kill, kill. Four. Two. Again with a carry. And he's stopped behind the line. Scramble, and he's sacked. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 14-9, Tiger.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. Boy, aren't they? They're so full of energy. It's almost scary. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. This crowd is looking to help their defense hold on to a slim lead. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That brings him second and five. And he's taken down at the 35. First down. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. How about that one? Well, the corner made a pretty athletic play here getting to the football, but you know what? That ball was up for grabs and could have easily been picked off. It's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled around the 39 yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Hey, keep it up, keep it up. Check, check, check. Hello, three. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle at the 21 yard line. tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's second and eight. Ball on the 19-yard line. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. State. 
You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. Arkansas State up a point. They don't get it. Doesn't sound like much to complete a pass for three yards, but being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at about the 31. Dice gained six yards with a short completion. Makes the catch and look out. And he's level at the 35-yard line. Nice run there. That's good for a game four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Hail, hail, hail. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught. Got an opening. Touchdown, Tigers. So the offense is going to go for two. Goes for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. And they won't get the two. as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Positive yardage. Game of six on the First down. Easy, easy, easy. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 41. Game of five yards. The ball, the ball, the ball. That brings, brings him second and five. five. The ball is loose. The defense scoops it up. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that.
A man down, and he's in some pain right now. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Gets out to around the 38. That brings up second and one. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. Got some open field. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. Tackles him for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. From the 15-yard line, third down. The Red Wolves just had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number four was the intended receiver on the ball. Fourth down. It's up, and it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And for Joseph, he's been all over the field for this defense. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go and they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing it. And he's shown tremendous effort and determination in racking up these tackles. Well, all of his good plays have added up to his team enjoying the lead. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He fights forward to about the 26. And they make the stop at the 36. That makes it first and 10. the corner makes it to the 44 that's good for him. that makes it second and two he gets out to about the 45 yard line tight folks we head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker the Tigers in front by eight all right we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter It out. They'll bring him down at about the 47 yard line. Marshall off the left side, and he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Might have been some early movement up front. They'll 
give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. He lets it go. That close to being intercepted. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Memphis up by eight. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It and tackle in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 37 yard line. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. That makes this early to me. He makes his way to about the 45. The halfback with a carry. Nice run there as they work the outside. Space to work. Brought down in the open field. Just under three to go in regulation. He's got an opening. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. A player down, and his teammates obviously worried after that play. This is the eighth play of this drive. An eight play, 80 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Patterson ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? He might not be able to get the pass on. And they got him. Gets the 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Just under two to go in the game. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 38-yard line. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 36. The back gets three on the carry. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Red Wolves call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Well, Kirk, he managed to get enough there to move the chains. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. From the 26-yard line, second down. Red two, blue 20, go! He fights forward to about the 23. going to do it for this one. Our final score, Memphis 30, Arkansas State 15. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Fred Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.